Economics was the motivation for both antebellum slavery and the slavery described in the Bible. But slavery in the Bible was quite different. You see, slavery among the Hebrews in the Old Testament typically occurred when individuals sold themselves into servanthood to pay off debt. Therefore, it was voluntary. Their servitude was akin to a con contractual agreement where they would be released after seven years. Oh, oh it's okay. Oh, man. Six dollars on lot A. Seven dollars. Eight. Nine. Nine dollar going once, twice, three times sold. Okay, well, you have to buy that, dude. It's a no-brainer. I mean, that guy's huge. A massive individual. That's two of me. Anybody would buy him. Yeah. I'd buy that dude. How did slavery exist typically in uh, Israel back in the day? It was actually an indentured servitude. It was less than a, a slavery, like you are kidnapped and brought over and you're put into service. Rather, it was more of an indentured servitude or a work for, uh, for a contract period of time. It really was. It was a contracted period of time. It was voluntary rather than starving, I would say, hook myself up with someone who had the money. I would say, I will serve you for X number of years if you provide for me housing and clothing and, and perhaps a wage above and beyond that. Two dollars on lot A. Two dollars going once, twice, three times sold. See, now that surprises me. That is interesting to say the least. I mean, well, it just seems like at a certain point, oh it's like, God, do wait. they even know what they're looking for? I mean, it's like the whole criteria seems a little, a little inconsistent. I mean, at, at some point, I, I want to be on lot yeah, A. Yeah, which is can, can a brother get on lot A? Uh, you have. Uh, uh, you have ways of easing poverty. And if you were impoverished, that was really what led you to becoming a servant of someone else. Mm -hmm. And so the, uh, Israel had provision for, uh, for those, you know, gleaning laws and, and, and so forth that you right. were to look out for those who are the most vulnerable in society, the orphan, the alien, uh, the, the widow who are in your midst. Oh, oh here we go. Here we go. It's been a pleasure. Give them hell. All right. Okay. Eight dollars on lot A. Go once, twice, three times whole. How does that nope, happen? Not true. What How you does just it said, happen? That's gobbledygook. Okay, that can't be true, because what can Look this dude do? The Bible calls for love and kindness and support and encouragement and protection and provision. One of the social constructs in which that occurred in the purposes of God was the form of slavery. What that meant was you had food, you had family, you had protection, um, you, you had provision. Um, this was, for many people, the most secure kind of employment they could have ever hoped for, with a good master. This auction's over. Oh, auction's oh, over? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, it's, it ain't over. It's not over. Well, I, I'm strong, y'all. I'm very strong. I can sleep in a bucket. I'm fast. I got stamina. I know I don't look it, but and I, I know magic. My worst quality is that I'm a perfectionist. Let me mention, have I mentioned this? Docile. I am agreeable to a fault. You should have seen the dude who asked me to get on the boat when we came over Not here. Not a violent bone I just walked in my right body. On. No big deal. Never seen a boat in my life.